Welcome back to 40 TV. I'm your host, 40. Today I'm excited to introduce to you another Final Cut Pro X effect. That effect's name is Acid Trip. So let's go ahead and uh, begin. First things first, after you download the plugin, which is available at www.40tv.com slash downloads, you're going to go ahead and open up your user folder, navigate to your movies folder, and find motion templates. Inside of motion templates, you're going to see effects. Open that folder up, and if you have a 40 TV folder already in there, go ahead and just drag and drop Acid Trip into 40 TV. If you do not have a 40 TV folder in there, then go ahead and drop the whole 40 TV folder inside of effects. Now that we've got that done, let's go, go ahead and move on to the effect. I have Final Cut Pro X currently loaded. And uh, I have a clip in here from a video journal entry that I did earlier today regarding my progress in P90X for those of you who are staying up to date, or I guess for those of you who aren't. So uh, let's go ahead and navigate down to the 40 TV category inside of my effects uh, media pane. If you do not see the effects browser, it's uh, available or opened by clicking on this button here. Scroll down to 40 TV, make sure your clip is selected, and then double click on Acid Trip. You'll notice that it applies a pretty funkadelic effect to our clip. When I press spacebar, it will go ahead and preview it for you. Uh, preview it for you. There are some uh, parameters we can adjust. Let's navigate on over to our uh, inspector or info pane. Click on it, which is the eye uh, right here in the corner. We'll see in Acid Trip we have a trip speed and a color width. By default, it's set to fast and 100% width. The trip speed is how fast it cycles through the colors, and the color width are how wide the colors are before changing the new color. So let's start with trip speed. It has fast, faster, and fastest. I'll just show you fastest uh, as compared to fast. So you'll notice it cycles through a lot faster than just fast. Uh, next thing, if I change the color width, which is currently at 100, I'll, I'll preview it one more time so you can see it. If I bring that down to zero, you'll notice the width of the colors are a lot smaller. So obviously this can be uh, fine-tuned to get the exact psychedelic look you're looking for. This can be applied to other things to achieve other results as well. It doesn't just have to be applied to a uh, clip. The way this uh, color effect works is it remaps different colors to the colors within your scene. So let's say you have a simplistic uh, single color item. Like for example, if we go over to our um, generators and you have the arrows plus light generator avail available from 40TV, we can drag that over here on top of our clip, go back to our effects pane and add acid trip to our uh, animated arrow. I'm going to take it off of our main clip just so it's a little less uh, distracting. If I scroll back through, we'll see that just this just cycles through just one color within the arrow. That's because this arrow is primarily just one color. If you have multiple colors or gradations in your footage, then you're going to see that psychedelic effect as we saw in the clip. Alternatively, if we come back over here to generators, we select all, things like caustics. This gel right here that's uh, currently red, if we wanted this to cycle through different colors, we could come back to our effects pane, apply acid trip to the caustics, and then as we preview this caustics, you'll notice that it's cycling through the different colors. If we wanted to speed up the cycling, then we could change uh, the trip speed from fast to faster or fastest. The color width isn't gonna make a difference in a situation like this because these caustics are just one, it's just affecting one primary color instead of multiple gradations of color like in our clip. Well guys, I hope you like this effect. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Once again guys, thank you, I'm out.